So Kenyans have until Friday uh, that is Kesho Kutwa to submit their views on the uh, controversial bill seeking to extend term of the president and other elected leaders. Uh, so this discussion around extending these term limits is really now taking a different route. Remember, this has been a discussion that started way back in 2022. Remember when Fafi MP presented um, a proposal that we should have, uh, no, we should not have a presidential term limit. Rather, uh, he presented an age limit whereby he was proposing that they should instead have a, a president, a president should not be someone who is more than 75 years of age. And then later, uh, Chararagay also suggested that uh, we should have a presidential uh, term limit of, uh, uh, from, of seven years. So these discussions has been there. And uh, I'm seeing a lot of political analysts are giving their views and they are, their feeling is that the president is aware of this discussion and uh, he is using the likes of uh, Chararagay to test waters and they believe that this is something that has been discussed by the president and his allies and uh, they are presenting these to test waters to see how the public is going to react and all that. So even before even we discuss about uh, extending the presidential term limit, I don't know if these elected uh, leaders uh, sometimes sit down and uh, evaluate themselves. Do they at some time sit down and think, uh, what have I done? Uh, the Mwananchi wali nipa five years, we are now two and a half, almost three years. What have I done? What am I supposed to do? I think as at now, uh, the president should be looking into something that is of importance to Kenyans. I don't know how, why these uh, leaders always think about themselves. When we talk about presidential term limit, we're talking about presidential term limit at a time when we have crisis in a health system, when we have crisis in education, when uh, farmers are crying, when uh, students on a sema held by Jawafikia. So how can we be discussing such matters at a time when everybody is crying, people are so depressed, uh, people are uh, uh, taking their lives due to depression and all that. I think uh, these uh, politicians are really pushing Wananchi to see how, uh, what they can do. And I think this is the worst thing to do as leaders. Uh, this thing of trying to see the reactions from Kenyans, uh, the reactions from people who are so much into pain is really not a, a good thing. So for Cherargay, I know this discussion has been happening. And even for you to present this uh, bill to the Senate, there must be, have been a discussions uh, among us, these uh, top leaders in this country. And uh, I know they just want to see how Kenyans are going to, to react. Of course, according to the conversation online, Kenyans don't want to listen to this. Kenyans don't want to hear about it. And Kenyans are not ready for these discussions. They are saying that you are not ready to discuss this. As at now, we must discuss what is happening in Kenya, what is ailing Kenyans. People are closing their businesses, people are complaining, what one end of Sitali to access a uh, medical, uh, uh, to access uh, to access services kuma usiptali imekuwa shida in terms wanajitua wana uhaiju wa kutokulipwa. So there is a lot of uh, things that Kenyans feel like this is not the right time to discuss about the uh, extension, uh, extending a term, li term limit of these um, elected leaders. So these discussions, I think if uh, it is going to take um, uh, a, re a referendum, then I'm 100% sure that the, these uh, they are going to shut it down and nobody is ready for even this discussion. I don't know. There is a lot of things that President William Ruto really promised during his uh, campaign. As of now, it has, this uh, government has been about a lot of things, a lot of things that is not even... Uh, so effective to Mwananchi. We are talking about selling the airport. We are talking about you leasing the port, Mombasa port. We are now talking about the Kina Adani, Suju Kinanini, things that uh, is very important for us. But doing that is something that uh, I don't think it is a priority, like uh, focusing on the ports, on the 
what mwananchi wants now is something that he feels effective kwa maisha yake on a daily basis assuming that i don't know why the president is assuming that all is well i wish angetembe kwa ground as key what the kenyans are saying people are really complaining especially mambo na uchumi especially mambo na afya kila siku tunaona kwa news how wagonjwa wanateseka hospitalini ku wanatafuta matibabu but eh, ikifika kwa malipo wanakuwa na difficulties and all that so these leaders let's just say kenyans have given up on them or i don't know if there is anyone who is going to just look at things differently and uh, say that i'm going to work for mwananchi because during campaigns you come with so sweet words with good manifestos uh, we give you time and all that and then after we've elected you guys mnafika uko all you think is how you are going to extend your terms to do what like now you want to extend your terms to seven years to do what What have I done for these three years for these two years that you've been uh, uh, in that position what have you done any tangible uh, thing that you've done that uh, the mwananchi kwa ground and I feel that you've done something because so far hakuna kitu yenye mwananchi ana feel kwa ground as we speak right now is about complaining is about complaining our country is just people are just like so demoralized hata watu wajua wafanye nini and here you are bringing about um, uh, suju mambo na term limits and all that i think uh, this uh, government uh, in terms of priorities they are getting it wrong from the word go they are getting it wrong now look we are now discussing about uh, the impeachment of rigathi gashagwa and this is uh, something that we are going to discuss it for perhaps it might take even another year discussing rigathi gashagwa because uh, the way things are going i don't think it is going to just end soon as uh, many thought so I'm very disappointed. I'm very disappointed that these uh, guys are just thinking about themselves. And they also this bill proposes the 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 creation of the office of the prime minister. You see I don't know we are overrepresented as we speak and you are trying to create another offices. Now they are telling us that they also want to create the office of the prime minister and this office uh, this uh, minister will be Uh, will be uh, chosen among the MPs from the majority party of or uh, majority uh, coalition so i think these leaders were meamua to that we don't care about you guys we don't care about you kenyans all we care is about us how do we even now in the midst of all these storm we here discussing about to do the uh, creation of the office of the prime minister to do extending the term limits of the elected leaders in this time and period where people kila siku tunaona kwa news tunasoma how people are, are taking their lives because of depression because they can't even afford their basic needs and all that I I think uh, the Kenya Kwanza government are getting their priorities wrong. They really need to say, to step back and reflect. Because imani ya watu, imani ya wa Kenya kwa this government is done. I don't know if President William Ruto feels that that people no longer believe that he can do anything as at now. At this point people feel like he doesn't even care he, he just care about uh, him getting more money uh, making himself a billionaire making himself something else but uh, concerning Mwananchi many people feel like the president um, is doing no- nothing about it and he doesn't care i wish they could just do something that uh, could touch the heart of mwananchi something that mwananchi uh, angeona i feel like wow this is so good this is so amazing so we cannot be in a country where everybody is complaining i don't know how president william ruto is uh, uh, expecting or is a uh, doing i don't know if he is so fine uh, to be the president he is right now the president of the few the president whereby nobody cares about you people are making bad prayers uh, 
uh, about you people are just making funny comments about you people are insulting you on social media i i don't think i i don't know if he's so comfortable about that that people even disrespect you to an at one extent over exposing your families uh, on social media insulting you on social media i think he really needs to re to reflect back as a person who came in as a re as a religious uh, man he really need to step back and think about kenya as much as he wants more for for himself as much as he want to acquire more for himself he really need to at least care at least assume or yani to ile kidogo like it should not be about him always and his allies it is, should not be about him like as at now like he really needs to just step back i don't know if he feels the pain that kenyans are feeling right now because ukiongea na wa kenya they are just so in their own world they just wish that this were 2027 waingie kwa ballot wa make decision wa 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 all these leaders because people are so tired and it's so unfortunate that people feel the pressure of this life and at the same time the guys uh, who are supposed to bring these changes to make everything easier for these guys they all think about themselves how are kenyans going to really manage this life for cherarge and the guys this is not the time to discuss about uh, the term limit i this is just not the right time kenyans are suffering a lot of kenyans are struggle to afford basic needs you really need to do something about chumwetu people are closing shops people are closing businesses people even the businesses that are still there they are struggling to survive ukuliza watu kila mtu anasema biashara imeenda chini wamefunga maduka and all that so how are you going to to ensure that things are getting back to uh, to normal like people can afford uh, basic needs like watu wa biashara or fungi duka zao i don't know if you guys are thinking on doing something about that because it's really it's really disheartening to 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 read some of these things we cannot be here about uh, it should not be always about you guys you really need to step back and look at things uh, and and have uh, at least uruma kwa kenyans because wa kenya for now it's really tough it is really tough moment it is a moment that uh, people feel like ile time when you say tu nimedhamvumilia kuwa mkenya it should not get to this point it should not be take this time to reach at this point where by kenyans are just giving up kenyans are so mad kenyans are so angry kenya yani kitu kidogo and uh, for politicians they really need to do something these things of just being about you guys really needs to stop you really need to step back for the three years that is remaining do something for mwananchi do tunaona vile how people in mashinani wanateseka eh, tunaona vile barabara zipo mbaya tunaona hospitali hakuna dawa kuna malalamishi kwamba walimu watoshi all these are things that you should be thinking about right now not extending the your ta, uh, the term limits uh, uh, not you thinking about uh, staying in power forever it's really not a good thing it's really sad and uh, for the MPs and the senators please do what Kenyans elect you to do stop these all these unnecessary uh, thing these to do discussions that is not helping mwananchi because let it stop for the remaining years that you have please work for mwananchi then uh, uh, then in 2027 the mwananchi will decide if they are going to give you more contact if or if they are going to send you home So for about this discussion it is really not a good time and I don't think Kenya are, are willing to sit down and have this discussion as at now because there is a lot of burden there is a lot of things that Kenyans are facing the life is makuwa ngumu so these the president and the other elected leaders need to forget everything about these term limits and kutetea mwananchi because uh, it cannot go on like this Mwananchi needs to be represented and mwananchi need to feel maendeleo yenye mnaleta kwa 
like a ground and you need to also protect mwana inchi so for this discussion i think it should not go beyond what is uh, uh, at this stage is it should not be even about discussion it should not be even in public uh, space discussing this so for president and other elected leaders please, please work for us about extending your contract the monarchy will do that come 2027 but as of now do what you promise you will do during a campaign that is it from me for today thanks for watching this is sophia live